Good morning, students. In our previous sessions, we were uh, discussing about the methods involved in computing cost of uh, debt as a source of finance. More specifically, the cost of a debenture or a bond help you to understand the method of uh, computing cost of debt for perpetual debt. In case of cost of perpetual debt, the cost of debt before tax is its coupon rate of interest. So perpetual debt means it is irredeemable. Only the firm will pay the interest. The principal amount will not be redeemed. So it is irredeemable. Irredeemable. Redeemable means the principal amount to be redeemed, repaid after the committed time period when a firm has raised its capital by issue of debentures for five years or seven years the principal amount is to be redeemed after five or seven years if it is uh, along with the interest the committed coupon rate of interest year on year basis interest will be paid but the principal amount will not be redeemed it is the nature of the character of this kind of debt, this perpetual. In such case, the before tax cost of debt is the coupon rate of interest, which is calculated using this equation. Ki, which is before tax cost of debt, is equal to interest, the annual interest payment, divided by sale proceeds of the bond or net proceeds. net proceeds of the bond or amount realized by issue of bond whereas uh, the effective cost of debt is the tax adjusted rate of interest In that case, the effective cost of debt is to be calculated using this equation. Here, it is denoted as KD, that is cost of debt, tax adjusted. So using the same formula, interest, annual interest payment divided by sale proceeds, multiplied by 1 minus tax rate. T is nothing but tax rate. Let us now consider this question. A company has 10% perpetual bond or perpetual debt of rupees 1 lakh. The tax rate is 35%. And you are asked to determine the cost of capital before and after tax. Assuming that the debt was issued at par at 10% discount and at 10% premium. At par means it is face value, at face value. What is face value here? Face value is not deliberated in the question. At par means face value. Normally, unless otherwise given, in the normal circumstance, Face value 
can be considered as rupees 100 in the normal circumstance as rupees 100 or we can calculate using the total amount itself the company is planning to raise rupees 1 lakh at 10 percent means so 10 percent of uh, 1 lakh will be rupees 10,000 that means for your annual uh, interest commitment of 10,000 you have raised rupees 1 lakh so this 10,000 is your annual interest payment so answering to the first question that issued at par so ki is equal to 10,000 divided by 1 lakh nothing but 10 percent the coupon rate itself is the cost and KD it is tax adjusted effective cost of uh, debt will be 10 percent into 1 minus tax tax rate is 0 0.35 so it will be 6.5 percent so in such case it will be 6.5 percent so out of 1 rupee 35 paisa will go to tax so the balance will be 65 paisa or 0.65 multiplied by 10 percent nothing but 6.5 percent so this is your effective cost of debt after tax because this 35 percent is a tax deductible this can be debited and claimed as business expense and it can be charged in the profit and loss account by doing which your tax burden will get reduced And because of which, you know, the effective uh, cost of debt has declined from 10% to 6.5%. This is with regard to debt issued at par. If it is issued at 10% uh, discount, in case of the second question, at 10 percent discount means what if uh, your issue size is rupees 1 lakh from this you offer a discount So less discount. At ten percent. So your uh, realizable value, net proceeds, net proceeds, or here in the formula it is called SP sales value, sale value or net proceeds will be equal to only 90,000. But your interest commitment will be 10% on 1 lakh. You have to pay annually interest at the rate of 10,000 for a net proceeds of 90,000. In that case, the KI, that is before tax cost of debt will be I is 10,000 divided by SV, which is 90,000. 90,000 is the net profits because you issue debt at 10% discount. 
means the issue size is 1 lakh out of which you are allowing a discount of 10 percent that means your collection the amount realized will be it is 90,000 so this is I that is annual interest payment and this is your sale value or realizable value so in that case the cost of debt will be 11.11 percent can calculate it this is before tax and tax adjusted effective cost of debt will be 11.11 into 1 minus tax rate 0 0.35 in that case it will be 7.22 percent So when you simplify this, you get 7.22 percent. And in the third case, where it was issued at 10 percent premium, so here your proceeds will be like this your uh, if your issue size is rupees 1 lakh add premium you are issuing at a premium of 10 percent so 10,000 so your uh, net proceeds or sales value will be rupees one lakh ten thousand for an interest commitment of ten thousand which is ten percent on one lakh so in that case your uh, pre-tax cost of debt will be ten thousand divided by one lakh ten thousand So by simplifying this, you would be getting 9.09% pre-tax cost of debt. And effective cost of debt after adjustment of tax will be 9.09 .09 into 1 minus tax rate which is 0.35. Uh, post tax uh, cost of debt will be 5.91 percent so this is how the cost of debt is to be calculated under circumstances where the debt was issued at uh, par and at discount and at premium. If you issue it at a discount, your cost is on the higher side. This the maximum in all, in all the other two cases. In all the other two cases, comparing with the other two cases where the debenture is issued at par, it is 6.5 percent. It is issued at premium, it is only 5.91, close to 6 percent. 